Chrome is a celebrated street artist uh, who puts, for lack of a better term, art on a wall in the form of graffiti. And uh, there's a big history there. He's a guy who had a $1 million bail on his head less than a decade ago down here in Miami. First of all, it took us so, so long to get him into the seat. Uh, and then once we got him into the seat, I had to unwind him uh, to get him where he wanted to be and we were happy he got to. And during that time, and you'll see in this interview, I, I, I touch on it, he cared more about the people and the places and he never referred back to the win for himself. And that was very interesting and again, indicative of the people behind making these amazing things, be it medical devices, robots, or art. Uh, Chrome really, I think, demonstrates that for the most part, people want to give and they just want to be recognized perhaps for it, but they're incredibly generous at their core. Enjoy this one. What's win would mean right now? What do you see for the next two or three years with it? Okay, Women's Future, in my opinion, is um, it's going to keep growing bigger and bigger. It's just more people are recognizing it and more money is being pumped into it and higher, higher end companies are coming in. Now you can see it's going to be bigger. So the art's growing out and it's beneficial because people are getting jobs and it's more opportunity for artists and for the average person to make money because the living wages down here and stuff are absurd compared to other places, you know? Chrome, you so. sound like a businessman right now instead of a graffiti yeah, artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because I know because I pay rent, man. And like, I used to pay $300, but you can't even afford it by yourself, man. It's horrible. It's horrible. Where do you fit into it the next couple of years in Winwood? I want to be the, 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 the pioneer, me and my crew, and to continue push it. And I really want to teach younger people and get more arts in the schools if we can do that. The kids nowadays, like everyone's forced to do something now, they, they don't think they can make a living doing art, man, you know? And it's like, they're taking it out of schools, you know? It's like they're taking the love of, of, of the arts, music, everything, I believe. You know? I listened to your language, and it's about giving, giving, giving. You never once talked about taking. Where'd yeah. that come from? I have no fucking clue. I should be a piece of shit motherfucker. Yeah, but are you? No, I'm not. I don't know how. I don't know how.